Welcome friends to my channel The Electrical Guy. Today in this video we are going to learn how solar panel wiring is done for our home. Friends you can see a solar cell here. The solar cell we are using here is of 12 volt. Then the battery which we use here must also be of 12 volt. The rating of this battery I mean the voltage must be equal to solar cell. Friends if you want to use this solar cell to charge this battery then you cannot perform direct connections. You have to use a solar charge controller here. This is our solar charge controller. So through this solar charge controller, we will charge our battery. To provide input power supply to this solar charge controller, we will use this solar cell. For this, what we will do, this solar cell here, connect a wire with positive terminal of this and to this solar charge controller at first terminal, this one, with this terminal, we will connect this wire. At this first terminal here, positive wire of solar cell is connected. Now from this solar cell, take negative wire and connect with second terminal here. This will be our negative terminal. Now we did the connections of this. This solar charge controller received input power supply through solar cell. If here I don't want to use a battery, I mean through this solar cell, directly I want to connect a bulb or any other appliance which work on DC, then I can connect this directly. For example, I am showing you a DC bulb here. If I want to connect this DC bulb directly through this, but if I don't want to use battery as backup, then what I will do is, in this solar charge controller, the last two terminals, I mean these terminals, this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal. So from here, I will connect one wire and to this bulb here, I will provide positive power supply. Similarly, for this second terminal, connect one wire and provide negative supply to bulb. Friends, if I do the connections in this way, then output voltage we are getting from this solar cell will be directly supplied to this bulb. The time for which this solar cell produces output voltage, for this time bulb will glow. But when night comes, this bulb will go off. Because at night, this solar cell does not work. Friends, a question is raising in your mind why I am using solar charge controller. Look here, we are using solar charge controller because the solar cell here produces different voltages in the daytime. I mean if the sunlight is normal throughout a day, then the solar cell produces 12 volt as output. But if there is a scorching sun someday, then in this condition, the solar cell will produce more voltage. For your information, let me tell you that the solar cell can produce even 20 volt as output. If I provide 20 volt directly, then battery may get damaged or electrical equipment which we connect may get damaged. This is why we use solar charge controller. The solar charge controller maintains the voltage. I mean output voltage will be constant when this is connected. Now see, I have told you that without using a battery how to connect any DC appliance. Now if I want to connect a battery also, then how to do it? This battery here, for connection of this battery, what we will do? The solar charge controller here, the third terminal here, this one, with this terminal, connect one wire. Now take this wire and connect with positive terminal of battery. This fourth terminal here is for negative supply, so connect one wire from here and to this battery provide negative supply. In the solar charge controller, all the necessary connections we have to do is completed. Friends, if you do the connections in this way, then solar cell you have is in sunlight, I mean when it is producing voltage, then this solar charge controller here will charge this battery here, as well as it will glow the bulb also. Now if the bulb connected here has higher load compared to solar cell, then in this condition, this battery will not get charged. All the output supply will be consumed by this bulb. Now the output load, I mean load which we connected here is low, then in this condition, battery will also get charged. So before connecting a load, you must know that solar cell is of how much watt. And according to this capacity, we connect the load here. Friends in our home, we generally do not use any DC appliance. Mostly we use AC appliances, I mean AC load. So for example, I am taking a fan and two LED bulbs. Friends, this fan and two LED bulbs here, to turn on and off these, I am using a switchboard. So through this switchboard, I will control these. This fan here and two LED bulbs will work on AC power supply. Here we have a battery and you know that battery gives DC supply. So here we have to convert DC supply into AC supply. For converting into AC, I am using an inverter also. Through this, we will convert DC supply into AC. This inverter here is simple inverter. You may also find solar inverter also and if you are using solar inverter, then there is no need of using this solar charge controller. 
I am using normal inverter here so I have to use solar charge controller. Friends in this inverter you can see three cables are there. One is this red cable, second is black one and this one for input power supply. So overall in inverter there are three cables. This red cable of inverter is to be connected with positive terminal of battery. So I connected this. This black cable here is to be connected with negative terminal of battery. We provide input power supply to inverter through battery. Friends this inverter here gives output from this socket. If I want to connect this load with this inverter then from here we have to take power supply. To take power supply from here I am using a plug top. Now through this plug top only we will connect these appliances. Friends to this fan and to these bulbs we will not connect power supply directly from here because to control these appliance we used a switchboard here. From the plug top connect one wire and to the switchboard with any one switch connect this wire. What happen is phase supply comes to the switchboard through inverter. Friends remember one thing the plug top here at the right hand side pin you get phase supply. So at this right hand side pin you have to connect phase supply. Now in the switchboard to this switch here input power is supplied. Now I will use this switch to operate this fan. To turn on this fan I will press this switch. But I also need to control the speed of fan. For this I placed a regulator here. To control this fan I will also use this regulator. For this what I will do with output terminal of switch connect one wire and to this regulator provide input power supply. With output terminal of regulator connect one wire and to this fan provide input power supply. I mean phase supply. Now the socket here to control this I am using this switch. To provide input power supply to this switch by looping a wire you can provide input supply. With output terminal connect one wire and to this socket connect this wire with right hand side pin. So to the socket we provided phase supply. Now to the bulb this one to control this bulb I am using this switch. To give input power supply to this switch connect one wire from here and to this switch at incoming terminal connect this wire. From outgoing terminal of this switch connect one wire and provide phase supply to this bulb. Now this second bulb here to control this I am using this switch. Same connection for this also connect one wire from here and provide input power supply to this switch. With outgoing terminal connect one wire and provide phase supply to this bulb also. So phase supply connection is completed here. Friends if you like this video please give us your support to the channel and also comment on this video to show your support. Friends I get inspired by your likes and comments to make more useful videos. Ok then let's move forward. Now we have to do connection of neutral supply. For neutral supply connection in this plug top here the left hand side pin this one with this pin connect one wire and to the socket here connect this wire with left hand side pin. This left hand side pin is for neutral supply. To all these loads also we have to provide neutral supply. To provide neutral supply here loop a wire from here and to our fan provide neutral supply. To these bulbs also we have to provide neutral supply. For this loop a wire from here and provide neutral supply to both the bulbs. Now look here in this socket here you can see one more pin is there. We have to connect earth to this pin. So from here I connected a wire and to this terminal I connected this wire. Friends this wire is connected with earthing. We take earthing connection from electric pole or in our home a rod is buried inside the earth for earthing connection. Ok let's move forward. This inverter which we used there is one more benefit from this inverter. We can charge this inverter through AC power supply also. I mean on providing AC supply output power supply will be there to charge the battery. Friends this solar cell only works in presence of sunlight. When sunlight falls on solar cell this produces voltage and after that battery will be charged. If suppose there is a rainy or winter season then in this rainy season or winter season what happen is there is a lack of sunlight which results in poor charging of battery. In this condition to charge this battery we need AC power supply. Now I will tell you how to charge this. Friends to charge this inverter through AC power supply I am using a socket here. To provide input power supply to this socket I am using a MCB. In this MCB input power supply will be main power supply. I mean power supply from electrical pole will be supplied here. At one terminal of MCB I connected phase supply and at another terminal I connected neutral supply. 
from outgoing terminal of mcb connect neutral supply and to this socket here provide neutral power supply with phase terminal of mcb connect one wire and to this switch here provide input power supply now through this switch i want to control this socket so from output supply connect one wire and provide phase supply to socket friends here i have done opposite connection i mean phase supply is connected at left hand side terminal and neutral supply is connected at right hand side terminal here i have done opposite connection because i have to show plug top connection also if i bring plug top here then i may not be able to show you wiring clearly this is why i done the opposite connection here there is no problem in this but do the connections right friends in this socket with this thicker pin here we have to connect earth for this what i will do connect one wire from here and connect another end with this thicker pin now earthing is connected at this pin so connections of power socket is completed now what i have to do through this socket i have to provide input power supply to this inverter i mean for charging i have to provide input power supply for this i will use a plug top through this plug top i will provide input power supply to inverter friends this cable here i mean charging cable here bring this cable from this inverter and do connections with this plug top friends i will not explain the connection of plug top because you must have know the plug top connection now the whole wiring is completed friends understand one thing here don't keep this socket on all the time you must not keep this socket on because if we keep this on then this inverter will supply power directly to this battery for charging what happen is this solar cell also charges this battery and from here also charging voltage is provided this may destroy this battery we use this plug top only when the solar cell does not work I mean we can use this plug top when there is rainy season or winter season when solar cell does not work at a time we have to use only one charging input friends i hope you like this video if you like this video please do like share and comment on this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe thanks for watching this video